This is the test orifice. It goes into the pump, uh, vacuum cleaner pump, where it gets pumped out. A long, a long length of pipe at the moment to the test orifice. The test orifice in here is a 39mm orifice with a, six, it's a 65mm bore and this distance here is 5D or approximately 400mm and this is where the, te the temperature is measured for the orifice. The first experiment with the flow bench will be to compare the signal voltage of the airflow meter to the flow rate. This is the mass air flow meter. The brown wire is permanent 12 volts. The green black wire is the signal wire and the other two wires go to the negative on the battery. This is the rig. I've mounted my air filter box and MAF over the test orifice. I'll measure the pressure drop across the air filter box using this manometer. I'll also measure the temperature inside the test box. This valve can be used to adjust the flow rate. The pressure upstream and downstream of the orifice and the temperature at the orifice. Here's the orifice. It was made using a 3D printer to the dimensions in ISO 5167. I'll be measuring the battery voltage, the signal voltage, the ambient air temperature, the ambient barometric pressure, and the ambient humidity. I'll then be able to do some calculations to obtain the cubic feet per minute volume flow rate. I've just had to wait for everything to stabilise and believe it or not it started raining. Okay, the voltage, nominal battery voltage, 12.16 volts, airflow meter signal voltage, 3.06 volts. Ambient temperature 7.7, 7, .7 7, uh, 8.9, don't believe that 8.9, and looks like 7.0 on that um, on that thermometer. Pressure, air pressure, ambient air pressure 1025.3. Temperature inside the box, 7.3. Air pressure inside the box, air pressure differential, 5.4 or 54 millimetres of H2O. The sense, that's in centimetres, but the actual measurement is in millimetres, so it's 54, 55. Taking the measurements going down the tubes. We've got a temperature at the orifice of 20.1. Differential pressure 380, 379. I'm now going to measure pressure difference to atmosphere. First one will be the upstream. This is the upstream differential pressure. I've done this by disconnecting the downstream pipe, leaving the pipe open but blocking the tap. So this is now this is now comparative to atmosphere. Measurement about 239. I'm now going to measure the downstream differential pressure to atmosphere. Measurement about 140. Using the spreadsheet that I've created, we'll now input the, uh, the variables. 
these first two are zero readings on the manometers. We've got ambient air temperature, eight degrees. Pressure was 1025.3. Humidity was I don't think I took the humidity, but we'll guess the humidity at 65. Difference across the manometer, across the test manometer was 54 millimeters. Temperature at test manometer was 7.1. Pressure difference between the upstream tap and atmosphere was 239 millimetres. Pressure between the downstream tap and atmosphere was 140 millimetres. And the pressure difference across the measuring of orifice was 379 millimetres. And the temperature at the upstream tap was 20.1 millimetres. We'll now go to the results sheet. And we can see that the actual flow rate was 123 cubic feet per minute. And that gives an equivalent flow rate of 456 cubic feet per minute at 28 inches of water. I ran the experiment nine times with the standard air filter set up and 16 times using Windy's hexagon set up in the straightener and the uh, mass air flow meter. I adjusted the valve to get different flow rates 107 113 83 etc so there's nine nine tests on the standard setup and 16 tests on windy's setup I was able to obtain some good results for the standard setup and windy setup was a bit more fluctuated but still got a fairly good fairly good line what we can see here is that for a signal voltage of 2.8 volts on the standard setup it's expecting to see about 103 cubic feet per minute and when we look at the windy straightener for 2.8 volts, it's actually seeing about 97 cubic feet per minute. This would mean that the engine would be getting fueled for 103 because it's, it doesn't know it's got windy's straightener in it. It just thinks it's got a standard straightener. It's expecting to be fueling for 103 cubic feet per minute so it'll be constantly overfueling the engine 